You know, yes. Revenge on the piranhas. Oh, that was so satisfying. That was less satisfying. <laughs>
Here we go. So, can I edit the levels or should I play the levels? I'm assuming the wrench down below is editing the levels. I'm assuming this is to play the levels. Upload? I think that's upload. What's this? Did you download a couple? Yeah, so here is your little elevator. Okay. Um, so if you go on the elevator, you can go up the, and down. This thing? Yes. Okay. Um, and you can play different different little gamey games. Well, that one, that one. Okay. So this is the level. Then if I like enter this way, my first campaign, level count one. Okay. Level one. Error. Okay. Got it. Oh, I have died. <laughs> oh no. Okay, there was a spike that appeared there at the end, so I gotta jump over the spike, I'm guessing. Nailed it! Woo! Was that all I had to do? Yeah, I think Got him! You, you snailed it. Beasted it! Okay, get, getting warmed up into this. We're all good. Alright. WYS into the depths. Level count 16. Okay, let's try this. Oh wow, they've got a bunch. That's awesome. So people, again, just like Mario Maker, people are starting to design their own campaigns and stuff. That's cool. Okay, so cave entrance. Let's let's begin our little journey here. Okay. Whoo! Nice. Level one complete. What a pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is like um. Oof. What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here, Ash? There's a lot of spikes in a lot of areas. Is this just a whole, just one old, big old jump? Wait, okay, this way. What? Hmm. Okay. So I need to use that. This is, see, this is clearly a mechanic that had I, you know, played the full game, I would have known about. There we go. Woo! Learning on the fly. Okay, this is level two. So the arrows mean the level of difficulty, right? Uh, in the game, there's easy mode, and then there's very easy mode, and then there's impossibly easy mode. Basically, the whole game is just trolling you the entire time, and telling you that everything is easy, which just added to my frustration and, and regrets as a human being. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, there. They be coming. They be poking out. Okay, keep running. There we go. And so the fact that they're including that is, is really fun. Oh. One, two, three. This is very satisfying. There it is. Death below. Is that is that what I'm led to believe? Death below. I have eight seconds. Alright. Oh boy. <laughs> see, see, this is bad news. This is bad news. Oh, I have to wait eight. Oh no, I have to wait the full eight seconds every time. Okay, I, I panicked a little bit. There was a little bit of panicking there. We got it. This is this is basically your your intense. This is basically your classic Metroid escape sequence, except with snails. There we go. Okay, don't panic. 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 I take time. I can take my time. Okay. Good. Good. Nice, good sight reading. I take it. Bam! Got him. Woo! See, this is this. Oh. There was. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. There's definitely. Oh, watch out for the piranhas. Nope. Okay, watch out for those piranhas. Doing fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, hey, hey, piranhas. Hey, stop. Hey, hey, Piranha, stop. I think this is as simple as me just going straight. Nope. That was a failure on my part. I don't know if I have to avoid those bubbles. I feel like in this game I have to avoid everything, though. So, so be it. Okay. And we're going to take the high road. Take the high road. And we're watching out for the Piranhas. As new. Yep, and there's the bubbles. So great. We're just going to we're gonna take the down route. Nope. We're going to take the down route. See, and now I remember why this game... <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Go! No, you fool! Oh, you foolish snail! Oh, my snail friend! Okay, okay, this is fine. We're good. We're all we're all good here. Nope. You just go straight. Don't let the water physics continue to carry you. Okay. These piranhas are aggressive. 
and they like to munch on a snail. I didn't know that piranhas were so violent when it comes to snails, but apparently they are. Do piranhas eat sea snails? Do, what do, are, are there things that piranhas don't eat? I guess is my question. I, that's a good point. I imagine some piranhas have like, you know, tastes and preferences though. Do, you, do Yeah, I was gonna say, ask, ask the question, what do piranhas eat? Should I be, I feel like my, my strategy here is, is an utter fail. Red piranhas are highly predaceous carnivores. They right. scavenge for insects, snails, worms, and plants, and even nipping the fins of other fish. Uh, I, I don't, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Piranhas eating other fish. Those dark piranhas. I know. I always, you know, I feel like piranhas get a bad rap. Yeah? I don't know. Like, everyone knows them as these awful, you know, oh, it just, they just will bite your face off or whatever, you know? But, like, you gotta eat something. What That's else true. Do? Have you ever seen the um, horror movie Piranha? Or Piranhas? I forget if it's plural. Oh, like, like Piranhas 3D and all that? Yeah. Where they're just, like, everyone's lounging at the beach. Like, yay, we're in little tubes. And then the piranhas come and just munch their And just off. munch them? You know, I have not seen many piranha-based horror movies, but it is it is spooky season, so maybe I should. <laughs> Nothing screams Halloween like, like piranha movies. Like a, like a like a trip to the beach and watching piranhas munch on your fellow human beings. That time I almost made it somewhere. This level's a bit, a bit challenging for me. Yeah, it the, doesn't the bubbles look easy. Give me a hard, the, the bubbles give me a hard time here. Yeah. See, because it's if I'm in the bubble. Am I protected from them? I am not. So, so what am I really supposed to do here? The bubble is not protected. Because right now, I will say, the piranhas... Okay. Maybe I need to jump around them a little bit. Maybe I need to juke them. Okay, here they go. There we go. Nope. Definitely, definitely did myself in that time. All right, this is... This is me, of, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. Oh. Is that the strategy that I should be using here? Nope. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. Keep around. See, but my bubble carries me forward. The bubble. I need. I need to. I need to enter. I need to enter the bubble from the horizontal side. Is what I'm learning here. And now these bubbles are just. All right. All right. All right. Game. Come on. Okay, whoever created this series of levels at WXY or whatever his name was, I am mildly infuriated by this. This, this is the problem. This is basically Super Meat Boy, but with snails and with, with cool futuristic graphics. All right, here we go. There might come a point where we have to hi quote unquote highlight another creator's levels because, you know, we need to just mix it up. Oh, I had it. That was totally it. Nope. Fail. Nope. Shoot. Come on. Get out of here, bubble. Nope. Oh, no. It's fine. We're, we're so good. No. What is wrong with you, you bubble? The, the, the upper path is, is meaningless. The upper path is nothing but death. Nope. I don't think I have the time it takes to avoid the piranhas. Nope, because you go... Okay, well, this has been a fun little experiment. I, I love playing everyone else's levels. Oh, God. Nope. Ooh. Oof. Big oofs. Corners will catch you. Big oofs all around. Nope, nope, don't go up. Let me control you, bubble. No, don't! Go! Come on! There's no other option! I'm so determined at the- I am so stubborn at this point. I- I-, I you're locked in. I am- I am so sorry that this is providing you zero worthwhile content. There's- there's no- Oh man, this feels very worthwhile to me. I don't think it is. As the person who's sitting here, I don't know. And as the person who's sitting here, 
I can also know. Get out of here. Get out. No! No! Christ. Stop sucking! <laughs> I can't! I can't do it! But I also don't want to give up! It's not hard! How hard is this supposed to be? I mean, it's a, it's a three arrow level or whatever, so... Oh, you were almost there! You were the chosen one! You were the chosen snail! Oh, get down! Why? Why? Maybe I don't need the... Maybe I don't need the bubble. Maybe that's been my mistake this whole time. Maybe the bubble is, is a, a useless construct. Okay, I didn't have a choice to avoid the bubble that time. Go! Dash forward! Da uh, okay. Well, this is this is a moment in time where I move on. Is this still level one? This is no, no, no. We're like in level. We're, oh. No, this is this is like level. This is like the final boss level. Oh, okay. This is it. Okay. This is it, Ash. Okay. Final boss. Okay. Of WID presents Will It Snail levels. Oh, we were almost there. <laughs> there was, was a brief. Rough. That was rough. There was a brief moment of time <laughs> where I'm like, we've done it. I will say, the like immediate kill you bubbles are not helpful. Like, Ugh. like these little bubbles that make me wait just arbitrarily. Ooh. Okay, we're we're getting somewhere though. You feel it? I do. Route number a hundred. How many times do you need to iterate? Oh. How many times do you need to iterate before you... Brutal. Nope, not that time. I'm like an AI. Woo! I'm like an AI! I am learning! I am growing! I am developing! Oh. The human brain. And see, that's why computers beat out the human... A, a computer would have figured that out, like, in a minute. <laughs> Me, human MatPat, took... 500 minutes to do. <laughs> that was terrible. That was brutal. And there's more. Why are there so many piranhas now? This makes me so sad. Wait, wait, okay. I can do this. Okay, stop oh, moving forward, man. Gosh. Okay, one and done. One and done, Ash. Okay, there we go. Easy every time. Every time. Oh, I'm... Get out. Yes! Revenge on the piranhas! Oh, that was so satisfying. That was less satisfying. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, here we go. We got it. Satisfaction guaranteed. Yes! Take oh, piranhas. man. It makes a nice noise when you do it, too. That's great. Oh! Oh, okay. Wait! <laughs> My protective gun! The gun that's literally on my person should have automatically killed you. Okay, here we go. Try it again. Oh, there's a lot of... Okay, get, get crushed. Yes! Nice. Woo! Can I pop the bubbles? Okay, watch out for these guys. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not losing to a bubble. I'm not losing to you, sir. No, sir. Oh my gosh, the, they attack you. Okay. Oh, that's rough. That's I did rough. not anticipate, I did not anticipate that. I thought that, you know, that only these guys, I guess they fill up faster maybe? Nope, that was, okay, okay, okay. that's fine. Look, we're all learning and growing. We're all experiencing all the wonders of this game. The fact that they have water physics, I really appreciate. Okay, I saw, I saw you coming. Well, I used to be able to do that. Now I can't. Because, of course, that is, that is life. Okay, here's you. Here's you. You can start to see the hair. It's coming out. <laughs> no! Get out of this! Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay, double piranha. We got you. Slow and steady wins the snail race. Like a snail! Okay, hello. Okay, there it goes. Nice. Whoo! 
Look at us go. Woo oh, this one has so many arrows. Okay. okay. What, what are you doing? Okay, great. My dear friend Bubbles, they're back. Gosh, Bubbles. Bubbles! A little did I suspect that my arch nemesis in this game would be Bubbles. What is it? Oh. <laughs> hey, Bubbles. God. Do I, can, I avoid, can I not use the bubble? Because the bubble's really letting me down here. Again. Nope. That's, that's a spike. Oh, boy. We're good. We're so good. Oh, my God. All right. It's a bubble. Very fun. Okay. Nice. What, what is, okay. What? 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 What, what what happened to me? What happened to me in that moment? Ash, what happened to me in that moment? Um, you learned something. Some higher power definitely contacted you. Right, I was going to say, I feel like I met with a heavenly light in that <laughs> moment. It was very exciting. Nope, too high. These jumps, man. Okay. There we go. So this is just a secret area, I guess? Nope. Yeah, a fun place to hide, and you blew for a minute there, but it was very exciting. Could not be replicated. Okay. Oh, I, f I found the AI guy. He's, he's there. Okay. Right, cannot be replicated. Nope, too high. Come on. I'm figuring out with this guy, which is I need to catch it on the downswing. Okay, here we go. Maybe hide you from just these need guys. to find the light once, and then you shine for eternity. Wow, that's that's beautiful, Ash. <laughs> Thanks. Nope. Okay. Will you snail can teach you many things. Okay. Nope. Wait. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, you piranhas. I love the fact that I have to do this jump three times. If not, oh, I have to do it more than three times, don't I? Ah. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, that's no! Right. Oh, shoot. I did not think I had far enough. Okay, here. There we go. Okay. Two. Nope. Get out of there. Okay. All right, piranhas. Nope. Shoot. Oh, come on. Okay. Nope. Oh, too much momentum. Why am I doing that one so well? At this point, I'm, I'm, I need to just replicate that a bunch of times. There we go. Okay. Wait, wh why am I so fast? Why am I? Why was I so fast? That was, that was very concerning. I love just like the random obtaining of superpowers that the snail is going through. Right? He's, he's accumulating a lot. There's a lot going on in his life. It's like you're getting the light. You're getting the speed. He'll have the speed of light by the end of this. He's becoming light. This level, oh! You. This is this is uh this is a this is a level of pain that I don't know if I'm equipped for, Ash. I hey man, I get it. I think I might need to showcase some other creator levels here. I think that's okay. I, get you a nice like diet cola, Harris Teeter. I, I was gonna say, let me let me get let me get a diet. Oh my gosh! And I've lost the opening of the level too. No, I had it. I I was in the rhythm for a little bit. It was great. It was glorious. Okay, this is the last time I'm doing it. Okay. Nope. Yeah, diet, diet HT. Diet HT. Okay, that was the last time. All right, we're, we're going to exit. Exit game? No, I don't want to exit the game. How about you stop spending so much time in the menu and just play the game? That's That, that was mean. I feel personally wow. attacked. Look at how far we got into the show. Wow. Like, we got pretty far. Oh, we're so close, Ash. Oh, it's so tempting to continue going. We'll hold off. Okay. I, I, I will I will maintain. I want to show off more people. Goofy game. Goofy game. Let's go. Na 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 will you snail? There's a photosensitivity warning. Okay. I heard that. Oh, I heard that. I heard audio. Oh yeah. Oh, latch on. Oh, there's all sorts of audio going on right now. It's giving serious sound. I'm I'm getting a lot of serious sound right now. It is serving wavelengths. It is. <laughs> it's 
serving with that those amplitudes mm. be fluctuating <laughs> right <laughs> all right let's get back into this after my break i had a, i had i inhaled a big mac so i'm feeling better now look i got 100% on this one nailed it 53% not strong on that one. Hey, Matt. Goofy Games, what's did, up? Um, did you happen to inhale the puff of the microphone as well? Why is the puff gone? The, the, if you look down, you might observe that there is no puff. Uh, clearly, I did. I, You know, I had the Big Mac, but I ordered. I didn't order any fries because I'm trying to go less fried food in my diet. Uh-huh. But I needed, a dessert, I needed a side dish. <laughs> and so the puff... <laughs> The puff became my side dish. I hope you don't mind. Uh, you know, that's was it that one time in 2017 that just it's it, been on your mind? It gave me a taste for it. It's not something that I want to do all the time, but it's something I want to do enough, you know? Right. Yeah. So, and I, I it's, you know what they say, it's a balanced, oh shoot, I had it. It's a, it's a balanced part of your, your diet, you know? Yeah, for sure. Like, just like you got to eat your vegetables, you got to eat your puffs sometimes. You got to eat your puffs. got to eat it. Puff it up. P part of a balanced breakfast. Puffs. Puffs. I mean, you've heard of Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs is a huge brand. You know, what about <laughs> Audio Puffs? Oh. oh, are we saying that there is a separate nutritional group called Puffs that well, we need to work into the food Well, there, there's Corn Puffs. <laughs> you know, there's from the makers of Corn Puffs. <laughs> there's Audio Puffs. I think I think it's a... Whoa, hey. Oh, I was, I was phasing, shoot, I was phasing into the wall and it confused me for a second. You know, part of a bounce breakfast. That's, that is the, that is the, the great equalizer there. Uh -huh. That whole part of a bounce breakfast idea of, oh, as long as you add other stuff to it, it's going to be fine. Uh-huh. I think, I think that's really funny. So what does puff uh, audio, as a, as a food genre? Audio puffs. Uh, I mean, we're talking puffs all around. Oh, you're talking puffs all around? I'm talking specifically about audio puffs. That's okay, my, that's so my sure. favorite flavor Let, of let's, puffs. Let's focus in on that. Sure. What nutritional value does audio puff add to your daily diet and uh, nutritional plan? Uh, just as much, if not more, than your, your typical fruity corn puff, let's be honest. <laughs> so, like, air and sugar? Oh, so close to stuff. Uh, air and sugar. I mean, air... No, actually, it's healthier for you because you're not getting a lot of sugar in your audio puff diet, you know? Okay. The recipe is uh, very pure <laughs> and healthy. But that sounds like a different nutritional value than the fruit puff. <laughs> I mean, it's it's different but related, you know? Okay. You get a big... What you really are looking for is a big old bowl of... You're looking for a big old bowl of milk. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Hold up. Hold up. What, what am I doing here? Oh, here we go. There. No. What, what are we doing? What, what is this? What, what's, what's this puzzle? Shoot. I need to understand what this puzzle is. What do we think this puzzle is, Ash? Go in here. Um. Okay, passing it along here. 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 Nope. You're saying no to that one. Saying no to that one. There. Here. Okay. There's all sorts of mysterious elements happening right now. Oh. Uh, cool. Great. Nailed it. Totally solved that one. <laughs> great. I'm so proud of myself. Um, oh, and now we got laser beams. Fantastic. So, we're talking about corn puffs. I mean, I want to pour a bowl. Oh, hello. I want to pour a bowl of milk and... F and f what was that? What was that? Was that a, was that a Pikmin? Was that the sound of a Pikmin? Are you are you serving me Pikmin right now? <laughs> what it's, was that? It's giving Pikmin. I, I that was definitely a Pikmin. I'm I'm a bit. Why was there why is there, why is there a sound of a Pikmin? If you don't mind me asking, Ash, is I, is that a valid is that a valid question for me to ask in this moment? No, no, for sure. Um, so you were in a meeting before yes. um, coming back from the break. We're talking about upcoming big programming things with uh, Style Theory, it's very exciting. Right, so you came back, but yes. before that happened, uh -huh. I was browsing on YouTube and I decided to use that time to try to find other topics we could hit on GT Live, uh -huh. right? Great, um, I appreciate that. And there was one video that got recommended called 
An hour of silence occasionally interrupted by Pikmin? Ah, yes. Um, a, 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 a true classic. And I don't think I paused it. That's amazing. So, so every once in a while, we're just gonna randomly hear a Pikmin sound. <laughs> Is that, is, 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 is that what you're telling me right now? I, I mean, you could pause it if you want. Why would I do that, though? Why, why would I want to deprive anyone from the sound of Pikmin? You know? That's, incre that's incredible. <laughs> At first, I thought it was the sound of the game, and I'm like, wait, this is not the sound. Why, why did the snail only make this sound now? Oh. <laughs> the sound of silence. Okay. I love that this is a YouTube video that exists, by the way. The fact that what are, the sound of... I, I, I've seen this one actually recommended to me a couple times, too. It's the sound of silence occasionally interrupted by Pikmin. Is that what it is? An hour of silence occasionally interrupted by Pikmin. It's I think incredible. it says Pikmin. Like, and there he is. There, there is that Pikmin it's right there. It's getting kind of frequent, not going to lie. Yeah, they've, they've picked up the pace for sure. <laughs> Oh my god. Most definitely. This is incredible. <laughs> Thank you for this amazing content opportunity. <laughs> so really we're we're playing Pikmin and w will it Pikmin? Will you Pikmin? <laughs> will it will you Pikmin? Will you Pikmin? <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Speaking of Pikmin, uh Ash, you Hi. were you were picking up Pikmin 4, right? I sure did pick up Pikmin 4. How was that? I love I loved it. Yeah. It was wonderful. Was it as delightful as you were ho hoping? Um, as delightful and more. I was really, I was really skeptical of it at first because I wasn't sure if it was like the amount of riveting, challenging gameplay that I typically kind of go for. Um, I typically go for really uh, unforgiving like strategy games and RPGs. Yeah. Um, but Pikmin looked really cute, and I played the demo, and I, I really liked it. I wasn't. I don't know how much I was expecting to, but I was really into it. I decided to bite the bullet and buy the game. Yeah. Um, Y'all gotta play Pikmin 4. You simply must Sim play. Wow, simply must, you okay. You simply gotta play Pikmin 4. Have you played the other Pikmin games? No. I've not, which makes me feel a little bit like a heathen. I was gonna say, so you played, so you played the first, or you played the fourth one without experience with Pikmin's one through three. I, that is correct. Interesting. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna go back, I think, and play one, two, and three. Um, I've heard that the earlier games are less forgiving in terms of like preventing Pikmin from dying. Oh, certainly. Or going back to save your Pikmin. Yeah. Um, whereas with Pikmin 4, you could rewind time to save your Pikmin and try something again if they died. Um, but. That is nice. Yeah. That is That was always a stressful. That was always a stressful component for me. Uh, so I haven't played the later Pikmin games. I've only played Pikmin 1. Uh-huh. And the amount of stress that I had in trying to keep my Pikmin alive. Because there's no world where you're really able to beat the game with <laughs> without without killing off your Pikmin, right? Like, that, right. the game is built for them to die. So... That was already pretty stressful, but then you couple that with, oh god, I keep shortchanging it. But I, I, but you um, try to mitigate that against the the 28 day cycle or 30 day cycle that you have. Right. That ultimately decides whether you live or die in that game. It's a, it's a very stressful franchise to me. I, feel, I still feel guilty and I don't want them to die, so I do everything I can to make sure that they don't. Um, but like the Pikmin are very honorable soldiers. They are. They're, I, I mean, wanna, they're, they're I dutiful to the last. They're so cute, too. Oh, so adorable. I Do you have a favorite Pikmin color? Do I have a favorite Pikmin color? Yeah, like type, type of Pikmin. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with, with the purple guys. I love the purple guys. <laughs> I love that they're kind of, I like that they're kind of round. It kind of sounds like he's yelling out Pikmin. Pikmin, he, maybe he... Maybe he's bonding with his Pikmin brethren. Maybe the snail is an evolved form of the Pikmin. You Whoa! Know? You ever think about that? That's a crazy game theory. Mm, right, will it snail? It's secret connection. <laughs> to Pikmin? Will you snail? I love it. Every time. Damn it. Ah! This is, this is like one of those classic uh, I want to be the guy moments where it's... You're supposed to not jump or something in order to... There it is. 
damn it. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Oh. Oh, no. All right. Oh, and there's a basketball hoop at the bottom of this thing. Oh, this is... This is where this level ends. Nope. Okay, we're fine. Pikmin! <laughs> Pikmin! So if you're looking for a laid-back casual gaming experience, Pikmin. If you're looking for anything that is not that, will you snail? It's like the antithesis. Yeah. Were you feeling too relaxed from playing Pikmin? Well, have I got a game for you? It's called Will. Ah, it's called Will You Snail, which is kind of like Super Meat Boy, but if Super Meat Boy hated you even more. That's great. Yeah, I... put put that on the log line. Yeah, for sure. I think that's a great form of advertising. I don't okay. remember. I guess last time we got Little Snail to put on our snail. Okay, so now oh, he's very cute. There's no world. There's no world where I do this. I have to keep the basketball in the air the whole time? There's no world. Uh-oh. This is, this is where this run ends. Oh, no. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh, no. But this is, this is where this one, this is where this world just jumped the shark. And then there's a spike right here, just for added, just to hate me. Just to hate, this is a personal attack on me, MatPat. YouTuber MatPat. Person, that spike right there, might as well just have my name slapped on it, like, big old middle finger MatPat, right there. That's it. Middle finger MatPat. That's, that's my alternate persona. <laughs> One more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> middle... Because <laughs> I haven't even gotten to middle finger, Matt Pat. Especially because I've gotten this... That part pretty good, actually. See, look at that. We learn, we grow, we iterate. Like an AI. Nope. Damn it. All right, and we're done. And we're moving on to a different level, <laughs> different level here. Ooh. Oh, we were so close to the end! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, the oh. bitterness! Oh, it's so painful! No! Goofy game! It wasn't goofy enough. What do we got? We got time for one more? Yeah, we got some time for one more. Longest road? There's only one level in it. So it, it's just a very long level, apparently, based on it. Desert Snail. Okay, no, we got things that are just gonna attack us. Infinitely, probably, knowing my luck. Ah, oh, so it is just a long, long road. It's like Geometry Dash. This is big, <laughs> Geometry. I don't know what the, Ooh, firework. I'm concerned about these fireworks. Oh, so, great. I might, I might, I might do one more after this. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be honest. I see what level design has been utilized here. I'm getting a sense of what's going on. But here's the thing, right? And this this goes back to the idea of like I love Mario Maker style games, or like we did Mega Maker for a while, Mega Man Maker. I think that this is such a brilliant idea for Will You Snail to open up its its game design and its I you know its toolkit to audiences. In general, it's such a modern way of looking at gaming, right? Is like why. I mean, even Breath of the Wild did this, and Fortnite has its creative mode and stuff. Like, at this point, I think people understand, like, yeah, we could spend a lot of time and energy making a bunch of incredibly well-crafted levels that are specific to the gamers and try to, to meet their needs. Or, we could just give them the tool set, and they could just make the game for themselves. And they could make it whatever they want. And I think that's really interesting. I, and it's, and, and so there's still room for those, like, incredibly well-crafted experiences where it's, it's like the Mario Maker or the Mario levels that have been finely tuned and honed from Nintendo to be, like, that feel good and, and are the perfect bet, right? There's Pikmin. There's our Pikmin buddy still hanging out. He agrees with you. He does. He agrees. Um, like, there's still room for that, but at the same time, people understand, like, in this day and age where everyone is a content creator, 
you know, because you have a phone and because people make videos of themselves, they post on Facebook and Twitter and whatever. Uh, and so it's one of those things where it's like, well, why would we bother trying to make you the perfect game when you can make it yourself? I think that's interesting. I think there's still room for both angles, but I love seeing the individual creations that people make because they're able to do things that are so much harder and so much more creative and interesting and, and experimental than a typical company would ever be able to get away with, right? So I think that that's really fascinating and cool about this space. Uh, I don't know how long this level is. It seems like it could go, it literally could go on forever. It, it does say the longest road. I'm sure that they took the level editor and maxed out the actual length of the level. This feels like, what was the Infinite port? No, Enchanted Portals. This feels oh. like an Enchanted Portals level. Yeah, it does. Where it's like, oh, I guess we're just going to have an AI throw a couple of random obstacles in front of you. And every once in a while, you just keep running until the level's over. Good and luck. Then, like, random obstacles spawn and despawn. Right. I, I miss the disappearing monkeys. I hope they're well. Godspeed to them. <laughs> we could always go back to that game, Ash. I know you're eager to go back to Enchanted Portals. Yeah, I mean... It's, I, it's I what mean, our audience demands of us. I've been itching to do it, and I know that that's what the people want. Is that what the people want? In more Enchanted Portals? Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't sound convinced. <laughs> At this point, I feel like the law of sunk costs demands that I finish this level. Or die. Or die trying. One oh. of the two. Right? This is like gambler's fallacy of like, well, I put in this much money. I'm, I'm going to win eventually. I put in this much of my time into this level. At some point, I'm going to cross over, right? Is the snail's position relative to the screen an indicator of his progress? Like, did I start more on screen left and I'm moving to screen right and I've just never noticed it before? Because this is a level that's forcing me to kind of confront this reality of the game's design. Is that what's going on here? Or am I just questioning my own sanity? Is that the real thing that's going on here? Is this an endless loop that actually has no end? And that I'm just slowly descending into madness and this is a gameplay equivalent of my descent into madness? Another quest that I'll never be able to finish in the, in the march? The endless march, the endless treadmill of content. Is that what's going on here, Ash? One must imagine MatPat snailing. Right? Because it's, is, it's Sisyphus. This, and, this, yes, this yeah. is, yeah, this, I mean, this is it, right? This is, this is my Sisyphus moment. This is me pushing the boulder up the hill. <laughs> Either that or me trying to solve the FNAF timeline, one of the two. <laughs> me, my, my boulder is, is this level of will it snail Will you snail? Exactly. And or the FNAF timeline. FNAF. That's it. Just keep pushing the boulder up, and then when it gets to the top, it comes crumbling right back down. And Scott Cawthon releases a new game, and it just bowls on over me. Or, oh, there's a new movie now. We'll go talk about that one. Do you think that every time you're close to figuring it out, Scott Cawthon lights a few candles and says a few words and, like, causes some FNAF news? to be released just as you come to that realization. I like I like to think that he has a secret login to our channel and knows when a new theory is coming out. <laughs> Scott so, Cawthon with the credentials. Mm -hmm. wow. Right, he's, he's secretly hacked into our channel. <laughs> he's going on the back end of YouTube studio, mm -hmm. finding those unlisted videos. I like to think that there's a vault in his basement. And on that vault, or in that vault, there is a whiteboard. Similar uh -huh. to like the Coca-Cola vault, where they have the recipe for Coca-Cola. Sure. Where they ha where he opens the vault, and inside is whatever timeline exists for this game franchise. And and there's a white, the, on that whiteboard, there's that timeline. And that every once in a while, he'll go down to it, knowing that we have a theory coming out, or knowing that he's just released a book or something, and then or we released a theory. And then he comes down, and he like, gleefully chuckles and laughs and then erases something <laughs> and he erases like a line or two or adds a line or two or there's like some sort of like edit to it like he crosses it out and then writes something else instead 
Oh, man. Jeremy 4.0. <laughs> and then he laughs and sips, like, a Chianti. And there's, like, some, like, change in, like, the seismic force of the universe yes. as he does it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like atomic force or gravitational force or right. the, those, the strong and weak forces. Like, there's a couple of unalterable forces in the universe. <laughs> atomic force, gravitational force, strong and weak forces, and also the FNAF force. <laughs> There's and I and I can feel it too. Like there's that moment where he laughs gleefully and crosses his thing out or wipes it over or whatever. And I feel that in my heart of hearts and my soul of souls. I can't articulate it, but there's an imperceptible shift in the environment, in the universe, right? And and I have changed and he has changed and there's a shift in the air and dogs are howling and cats are hiding under their beds because they know it's coming. It's like 4th of July. They know the fireworks are coming, and so they're just <laughs> hiding out under there. Yeah, that's why Skip starts acting weird. That was that, he uh -huh. starts meowing at doors Yeah, and he, start, he starts pawing at things, and it's like, oh, <laughs> there'll be a new FNAF coming. Or there'll be new lore dropping. Or something has shifted. The rules have changed. Maybe maybe that should... I can't believe we haven't used that as a as a title for one of our, our, one of our game theories on FNAF. We should... Whatever. I don't even care what the next topic is. We're just going to call it FNAF. The rules have changed. Maybe we should do that. That's a yeah, good one. I like it. That'd be great. That's a good title. I like that title. The rules have changed. I don't know if this level has an end. I don't know either. Ash. <laughs> See, I love it. This is just an existential dilemma now. Yeah. Because we've come a long way. We have. Do I, do I need to end it? I don't know. Should I end this? But we could be so close to the end. We could, we could be, or we could not be. That's, right? That is the problem. You don't know. You have no clue. And so you're trapped on this treadmill. And at the end, of, I mean, maybe it's like YouTube, you know, where you are on a treadmill and you have to decide where the end point is for yourself. Yeah. You ever think about that? You, you either, you die on the treadmill, the treadmill ultimately launches you off of it. And it's like, oh, you're done with the treadmill. Or you decide for yourself where the end of that treadmill exists. Right. Or we could decide that the treadmill ends the next time we hear Pikmin. That's true. We haven't heard a Pikmin in a while. Right? It's been a little bit. It has. I like that. Let's let the Pikmin decide. <laughs> I feel like that is us relinquishing our fate to external factors, though. Yeah. But, like, I trust a Pikmin. Watch us have reached a point in the Pikmin video where it's done. <laughs> like, we've gotten through the hour. Oh, there he was! All right. There he is. Level. He's like, no, they know too much. <laughs> they know too much. <laughs> Well, that was satisfying. That was good. Yeah, that was fun. That was great. Don't jump demo. This will be nice and short, I feel like. <laughs> it's a demo. I feel like we could do this one. Don't, and, and it says, a world without jumping. Help. Oh, no, hold. I thought it said help. Hold. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see what's good. There it is. Okay, there's someone there. Okay, wait for this guy. Little fish. Here's my question. This, 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 this smile. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot, I, I accidentally hit it again. I, I let go of my finger. Mistakes were made. Shoot. Now what am I supposed to do here? Okay, I will take the glitch. Sure, let's let's say yes to that. Cool. <laughs> Great! <laughs> A winner is me! What are you doing here? What, what are we doing here? Nope. Not loving that. This is cool, I like this. This is a good one. This is this is all the, the coolness of Okay, are you coming with me? Come on, come on, bud. Come on. No, don't, no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, oh, I'm, I'm dead now. Mm. Come on. Ah! I need to lure you away! 
You are a, a, a foolish, foolish. No, nope. thanks, thanks, thanks for that. Come on. Okay. I mean, jump, jump. No, you didn't do it. You didn't. You didn't do the thing. You didn't do the thing. Okay. Do do the thing. Not doing the thing. Okay. Oh, well, almost. Okay, come on over here. Come on over here. Okay, come, come on over here. Come, come on over here. Ah, shoot. I know, I know, I, I, I failed you. I failed you, game, I understand. Okay, okay. Come on, there we go. Ah, oh, almost. Dang. Right, close. Oh, ooh, ooh, bouncy. He do, who do, he, ooh. ooh he, oh, I, wait a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing now? Who made you so bouncy all of a sudden? Okay, that was uncalled for. That was, <laughs> that was just disappointing. Yeah, you gotta get him up there. Right? Crucial. How do I get you up here? Leap, 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 leap. Nope. Oh. It, nope. Oh. Nope. Okay, great. Come over this way. Come over this way. Come over this way. Come, on, come over. Nope. 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 You've, you've come too far. You have come too far, sir. Sir, you have come too far. Oh! I'm trying to lure him over there. Come on. Yes. Nope. Oh! Woo! Yeah! Strategic! Let's go. Got him. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nope, okay. Now we got the spikes to deal with. This is... Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, this is... And this is... This is where this one ends. <laughs> you know how sometimes you just see a level and you're like, Oh, this, this, this is the one where this one ends. Oh, almost. I feel like I, I might have... I, I might be able to identify this as that level for this run. Still gonna give it a, the old, the old college try, which, to be fair, is not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Dang. Yeah, I will take that. Good work. We did it. Woo! Woo! Awesome. Pikmin. I am proud of that. Taking down the factory. Ooh, boss fights. Wait, there's boss fights. Boss fights. This sounds like a great finale. All right, Matt. Boss fights finale. Here it is. Boss fight number one. Let's go. Let's defeat this weird uh, windmill structure, I guess. Oh. Oh. No, this is... Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, this is bad news. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh boy. There we go, there we go. There oh, we go. there, that's, there that's, that's a spacing. That's a spacing. Oh, 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 okay, hold up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing, Solo? What are you doing? What are you doing? This? Why, why are you doing this? Why, why are you this way to me? Why, why, why would you do this to me? Why have you betrayed me? Okay, oh, you got a lot of life, bud. Please have less life. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. Dang! Ooh! Look at that! Look at that! I will take that! That was great. I'm proud of myself. I've come a long way. I've come a long way here today. Oh, wait, we got, oh, here's this, the next boss fight, I guess. Which gets unlocked in, whoop. Okay, okay. Mm, what? Okay, this way. Okay, this way. This way. Oh, boy. The, uh, you know, I'm gonna take my victory. Nope. Take, I'm gonna take my victory and, and run with that. Actually, thank you very much. Can I survive for 10 more seconds? That's what I'm gonna try to do here. 
I'm gonna try to survive it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. oh come on! I, I just like to see what happens when the countdown reaches zero. I, I would like that. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, I was so close! 15 seconds. All I need to do is survive for 15 seconds. It's fine. I should be able to do that. Maybe not. There's a lot of there's a lot of laser beams ha happening right now. Okay, wait. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, this is this is this is this is multi-stage boss battle right here. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, there's Pikmin. Tell me, stop, Matt. Get out of here while you still can. There's only pain and agony that awaits you. Woo! Nice. All right. You know what? And with that, and with that, I say, well done. Well done, everyone. I feel like that's a good, last time we played Will You Snail, I ended on a bit of a low note. I kind of descended into a pit of madness and, and frustration. This time I feel like uh, I went through that phase, but then we emerged on the other end. Yeah. Infinite. And there are infinite levels to be had. So anyway, Will You Snail, not only a fantastic single player experience uh, with a lot of really quality levels in there, it's really challenging, a lot of fun collectibles, even some good lore. Maybe we should do a theory on this someday. Some good lore mixed in there, but also now an infinite level builder where you can grow your own skills and, and design stuff that I can get frustrated about and rage hair over and have existential crises over. So. Thank you, uh, Will You Snail, for letting us know about your new feature. This was really cool. Go out, support them. It's it's an incredible game. Um, so, yay. If you're looking for really hard, tough-as-nails platformers that are smart and kind of like do interesting things with the format, this is a great one to do it with. So, without any further ado, my friends, rage hair slightly more intact, I will say to you, thank you for watching. And remember, it wasn't a... It, Pikmin. Sorry, I was. No, not another Pikmin. <laughs> it, it was. It was a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. Pikmin out.